Hi everyone! I'm Mandy. Welcome to Soup Up Recipes. Today, we're making eggplant rolls stuffed with ground pork. I wish I knew this recipe earlier <laughs> because this is different than other stuffed eggplant recipes. It's easy, creative, and insanely delicious. Let's get right into it. I'm using the Chinese style long skinny eggplant. Based on my experience, each eggplant needs approximately a third pound of ground meat and makes about eight rolls. Of course, it also depends on the size and the shape of your eggplant. You can double or triple this recipe depending on how many people you want to serve. The seasoning is super simple. We will use two teaspoons of soy sauce as the flavor foundation, then pair with half tablespoon of oyster sauce, a quarter teaspoon of five spice powder, a quarter teaspoon of white pepper. You can do black if you don't have it. Continue by adding half tablespoon of minced garlic, one teaspoon of minced ginger, and two tablespoons of diced scallions. Use a rubber spatula to mix until all the meat join together. Before, the ground pork was loose. Now, everything sticks together. That is good. Set it aside. Use a vegetable peeler to slice the eggplant thinly. The first two slices usually are too narrow. We will not use them. When you shop for eggplants, choose the ones that are long and straight. It makes a better presentation. If you break a slice by accident, that is all right. It is still useful. Place the eggplant slices on the cutting board and evenly apply a thin layer of meat. Besides ground pork, you can use beef, chicken, shrimp, or fish. This recipe is super flexible. Carefully roll the eggplant into a cylinder. For the broken slice, you just roll it from the side that is broken so you can wrap it in tightly. It looks no different from others. Let them sit for about five minutes to allow the seasoning to draw out some moisture from the eggplant. We need the moisture to coat the cornstarch. Just carefully move the roll in the cornstarch bowl until it is nice and covered. Make sure you hold the end so it doesn't unwrap. Set them aside for about 10 minutes to allow the cornstarch to bond together so it will fall off less while frying. Meanwhile, you can heat the oil to 370 degrees Fahrenheit. Add the eggplant rolls and fry them for two to three minutes on each side. Usually, this dish is deep fried, but I think shallow fry is more friendly for home cooking because you use less oil. Take them out. Before serving, we can quickly make a dipping sauce. One and a half teaspoon of sugar, two Thai bird eye chilies, which I have diced, one garlic clove, I minced it finely, one tablespoon of fish sauce, and one tablespoon of lime juice. Stir until the sugar is dissolved. The taste is sweet and sour, goes really good with the crispy stuff. Of course, you can also use your favorite store-bought pre-made dipping sauce. Like I mentioned before, this is insanely delicious because it's really surprising. The outside is crispy, the inside, mm, you would not believe that eggplant roll can be this juicy and succulent. Mmm, mm, so good. I hope you give this a try soon. As always, the printable recipe link is in the description. Go check it out. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more easy and authentic Chinese food. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.